Hi, welcome to our onboarding video. To get started, please head on over to our official website by typing d5render.com. From our homepage, you can select a free download from the top right and this will automatically download the installer on to your machine. Don't forget to visit our official YouTube channel for numerous videos and tutorials on becoming a D5 Render Pro and staying current with the latest updates. Before running the D5 Render installer, please ensure that your machine is compatible with our software. To verify compatibility, you can download our benchmark tool as well as reviewing our system requirements. For optimal performance, we recommend using an RTX 3060 graphics card or better. Once you've ensured compatibility, you can run the latest version of the installer. You can choose to run a standard install or do a custom install if you want to change the workspace directory and user permissions. In this example, we'll just do a standard install. After D5 Render finishes installing, you have the option to launch the D5 Render Launcher. Within the launcher, you can log in by entering your username and password in the bottom left corner. Once logged in, you will be prompted to select either your Pro or Teams subscription. Additionally, you'll notice a gear icon in the top right corner. Clicking this icon allows you to adjust various settings, such as enabling or disabling specific widgets. D5 Render is compatible with all major AEC modeling software and offers dedicated plugins for each one. You can locate the appropriate plugin for your software on our Downloads page. For this demonstration, I will download the SketchUp plugin from there. Simply follow the installation instructions, and the plugin will be available the next time you run your software. In SketchUp, you'll see that the D5 Render plugin has been added to the toolbar. By clicking the Run D5 Render button, you can start D5 Render. A prompt will then appear, asking you to either open an existing project or create a new one. As you can see, the plugin is working to sync my geometry and material data over to D5 Render. Now that my geometry and material data have been transferred, I can continue working in SketchUp to modify my modeling data. As you can see, all my updates in SketchUp are instantly reflected in D5 Render. Alternatively, you can export D5A files from our plugin and manually import them into D5 Render. To do this, click on the cube icon and select Export Selected Only. Then, in D5 Render, choose Import to import the D5A file. Drag it into your scene and ensure to select Sync Coordinates to align it with your modeling software's location. If you'd like to follow along with the onboarding video, please head onto the Explore page in your D5 Render launcher to download the demo scene. To newcomers, a user-friendly UI is of great importance. The navigation bar is a one-stop shop for all your commonly used features in D5, including the menu, model import, asset library, and rendering output. You'll find your scene list, layers, and resource list on the left side where you can manage perspectives and resources, like models, lights, and particles with ease. In the middle is the real-time view port. Here, you can see everything visualized on the fly when you edit the environment and effects on the right sidebar. Up on the right corner, you'll find settings related to the camera, display, and navigation modes. On the top left there are model and material selection tools. After selecting a model or material, you can call up the corresponding editing tool. You'll also find light and model placement tools spread throughout the middle. 
making it easy to quickly set up lighting and build your scene. To begin, I'll change my navigation mode to fly. Using the WASD keys, I can move around my scene, holding shift to speed up the camera. Alternatively, I can manually adjust the camera speed in the navigation mode settings. I can also improve my viewport experience by selecting display options and switching from precise to smooth. In the camera options, I can adjust various settings such as the field of view, camera clipping, and toggling between perspective and two-point perspective. I can also switch to orthographic views as needed. Once I'm happy with my camera location, I can click add scene from my scene list. My new scene will be added to the end of the list. With my scene saved, I can start setting up the exterior lighting. I can use any of the HDRIs from the HDRI drop-down menu or get location-accurate sun studies from the Geo and Sky tab. Once the exterior lighting is set, I can adjust the weather effects by altering the cloud and precipitation settings to change my scene from rainy to snowy. Alternatively, I can utilize the AI Atmosphere Match to upload a reference image and apply the reference image's exterior mood lighting to our scene. Our AI will adjust the environment parameters and apply weathering effects if necessary, as well as create its own color correction settings to the scene. Once you're happy with the results, you can right-click on your scene and save your parameters as a preset. Presets can be shared and used on all your different D5 projects. As you can see, here are just a few presets I've created that I can apply to this scene. Now that we've adjusted our exterior lighting, we can begin adding materials. D5 Render offers a variety of material templates that you can use to create custom materials. For instance, we can use the grass template to generate individual blades of grass and choose from several grass types. Using the water template will create animated ripples in the pool for a more realistic effect. If you prefer not to create your own materials, you can always use our extensive asset library by pressing M, which offers pre-created materials for your scene. First I'll select the material I want to use, and then I'll simply click on the object that I want to apply the material to. D5 Render also offers AI features for material creation. Add your base image and click the AI icon to upscale with Ultra HD Texture, or remove seams with Make Seamless. Use AI-generated texture maps to create all necessary channels for photorealistic materials. And don't forget to hit on the Add to Local icon to add the newly created material to your local asset library. To work with interior lighting, you can add emissive materials to the lights in your scene, allowing our global illumination calculations to light up the interior. You can also add lights from the toolbar. I'll select a spotlight, and from the Inspector tab, I can change the IES profile, adjust the intensity, and change the color temperature. Since I've already used emissive materials, I'll switch to a strip light and add it to the cove above the bed. I'll change my view to top-down and use the V key to scale the light strip. To duplicate the light, I'll hold Shift and drag it down. Then, I'll add lights to the shelves and group them all. Now, I only need to change the parent group settings to adjust all the lights at once. Once you're ready for final export, you can head to the video icon to render out animations. Within the video tab, D5 Render offers a variety of helpful templates. Simply position your camera at the starting point and select a template to apply the animation path. This streamlined workflow allows you to create impressive cinematic animations with just a few clicks. Users can also create custom camera paths by starting at their desired point, adding a keyframe, and then moving to another point to add a separate keyframe. This method allows for precise control over camera movements within the scene. Once you're satisfied with your animation, navigate to the menu in the bottom right to choose your export format and resolution settings. To export images, click on the image icon where you can choose to render a still or panorama image. Adjust the aspect ratio, resolution, and image channels as needed for post-production. When ready, either click a render or add it to your render queue to process the export.
In the render queue, you can choose which projects to render and set your export location. Once everything is set up, simply click render to initiate the process. As you can see, my rendered image closely matches the viewport preview but with sharper details and higher resolution. D5 Render's workflow ensures that you won't encounter surprises in the final outcome. You can also utilize our built-in AI Enhancer tool which will allow for selective area enhancement with three intensity levels, weak, normal, and strong, ensuring your renders are more detailed and realistic. Additionally, the AI Enhancer channel improves the accuracy of area selection, giving you precise control over enhancements. For additional resources, be sure to visit our official D5 Render website and check out our blog for the latest announcements. Also, explore our Scene Express page, where you can download completed projects and see how designers developed their scenes. That wraps up our onboarding video. If you have any questions, please visit our forum or reach out to your sales representative for further assistance. Thank you for watching.